everyone. So I have finally February 10 on 10 to share. And once again, I came up with my own color scheme. I went digital and I made it my own. One of the things that I love about hybrid scrapbooking is that you can make it your own. You can go into your digitals and make them your own. And that's what I did. A perfect example of that is this card. This was from a kit that was from the beginning of 2019 and it had a lot of bold colors, but it also had some pinks and reds and oranges. And I was like, you know what? That's the color scheme I want for February. So I painstakingly changed the colors of this and the washi strip. I don't know if you can see this, I can focus it. So that was a lot of fun to create. And then from there, I decided to do some stamped digital circles. And so I just stamped good vibes on this highlight. Let me get a piece of paper so I can show you. I just stamped highlights, Insta love, and so happy to be here, good vibes, snapshot. So I just did several different circles and then I cut them out with my Cameo and I really love how they came out. And once again, I'm gonna have four pages for January I had four pages in total so this time I will as well. I have one large photo and then I also have two smaller photos and I'm just going to bring it all together and I'm excited to put together another 10 on 10. All right I'm going to stop talking and carrying on and I'm going to switch to voiceover. Thanks for being here and here I go. Okay, rolling up my sleeves, as you can see, and I'm gonna get started. On this first page, I have the two larger photos. That's what I meant, that I have one jumbo photo and then two large photos and then a bunch of smaller photos. So what I'm gonna do is I took the large photos and then I figured out the space below it and then I cut my journaling cards digitally so that way they would fit right there. I did a large photo of me in front of the mirror and then I did a photo of the kids doing distance learning, then later on jumping in the trampoline and the, uh, taking care of the bird feeder and running errands in the truck. I love how any type of day in the life with Allie Edwards or this uh, 10 on 10, you really capture like the minute details of everyday life. And I really enjoy that. I always have. And um, it's probably why I will continue to do these type of projects for a very long time. Or until at least my son tells me to stop taking pictures, <laughs> which is probably coming sooner than later. I am putting together all the circles that I showed you in the beginning, and I absolutely love how they came together. They were a lot of work digitally, and then in my cameo, I had to figure out how to get rid of some of the letters that were hanging off. So they were some work, but I really love how they came out, and I'm so glad that I decided to stick with it and um, use them as my main kind of embellishment and focal point in this project. I had a documented card that I shrunk down. I think that's from a Feed Your Craft kit and then um, Jerry Lynn from In A Creative Bubble designed it. I'm gonna add in some glittery uh, enamel stars and dots. I think they're from Coco Daisy. Um, and now I'm gonna move on to the second page. I had to switch out my adhesive, I think it ran out. I'm gonna put in this large photo. We were sitting in the truck and we had to wait for our books to come out to us and it was a really long wait. So of course the kids went bonkers and it was hilarious. Um, but I made sure to get some photos of them going bonkers. And I laid out, I'm laying out the photos and then I realized that glue picture that I had um, that's for a completely different project. So I had to figure out where, um, what photo it was missing. For two of the photos, I am gonna use some white paper and create a flap so that way I can put some more journaling underneath. So I just use an extra piece of the white paper and then I can make that flap and I can have a journaling card underneath. So I'm gonna do that for the bedtime evening photo and then for that Polaroid um, journaling card that I completely changed, I am going to put one underneath there as well that says a uh, snapshot of today, I believe. And I was going to do a third one behind my shower photo because I had one a journaling card that says give yourself some grace, but I figured two is plenty and three is just too much. 
So down on the bottom left, I'm going to make a large cluster of the circles. I think I'm using every single color. And then up at the top right, I'm going to use one of the journaling cards that I just cut out with my Cameo. And now it looks kind of like a speech bubble. So I'm going to use that, add a few circles. And then over on the right, I'm going to add a few circles kind of behind the bedtime photo. And then I will add in some e enamel dots. So just the perfect little finishing touch so I can wrap up the spread. So then I kind of walked away from the spread and I, I wanted to add something else to it. And so I found in my Feature Craft stash, Little Lamb Paper Company did a stamp set for Feature Craft a long time ago. So I'm going to go ahead and use that stamp set to fussy cut out some phrases. I stamped uh, routine on the agenda um, today, I think. And um, I think they're going to add just what I needed. It, that stamp set also had some everyday phrases like school, don't forget, afternoon, wellness. And so I am going to stamp a variety of those. Oh, the stamp was not today. It's every day. But um, Amy from Little Lamb Paper Company has an awesome script font. And so I just love that. So I'm going to use those. And then the everyday delight on the trampoline one, that is a digital stamp that I printed out. Also fussy cut it out on the agenda. And I'm going to add that up at the top right corner and then add the other little phrases around the spread to kind of finish off the spread. So I'm really glad I decided to walk away and kind of uh, figure out what else I could add to this spread to kind of finish it. So this page is going to have the routine and the wellness and daily and right now and evening, I believe. So I know the stamp set isn't available anymore, but it was such a good stamp set and I'm so glad I have it in my stash. So I am just building that little cluster on the top right and I'm finishing up with the other little ones that I am cutting out, fussy cutting out, and then I am going to work on my journaling. So up at the top right, I wound up putting it so it said evening routine, so I think that works out great. So I'm going to add the journal off, journaling off camera, and I'm done with this spread. So I hope you guys enjoyed seeing this second 10 on 10 come together. I would love a thumbs up or a subscribe if you are new to my channel. Thanks so much for watching, and have a great day. Bye!